Hi everyone, welcome back. Sorry it's been forever since I've done videos. I haven't even had time to vlog or anything. I've been so busy with work now that I'm working full time. So um, I thought today I would try to do a video since today was my day off. Um, my three year wedding anniversary is tomorrow, so since I was off today, we decided to shop, do some shopping today and go out to dinner because tomorrow I have to work. So <laughs> um, I hope my TV is not too loud. I'm watching Turner Classic movies and getting ready to put my pajamas on and make my tea and have some cookies or something. <laughs> That's my nightly routine. But anyway, I'm going to show some of the goodies I've bought from the past few weeks to today. Uh, we went to Charleston about two weeks ago to start our immigration stuff, which was almost a waste of time, but they gave us more forms to fill out and the total cost of what it's going to cost us to finish it. So hopefully before the end of June we'll be set with everything and he'll, my husband will be living here by Christmas. Um, so I'm going to show you what I got. Okay, first in Charleston, I didn't do a whole lot of shopping, and I'm missing a couple things that I meant to show, <laughs> so I'll have to do another video on that, those things, but I found this little, it used to be called the Old Slave Market in Charleston, and there's like all these cute little shops and things there now, well they've been there, but shops go out of business and the new one opens, but I found this cute little um, perfume store. And when I went inside, it's so small. I don't know how they fit everything in there and how people walk around to look at things. But it reminded me of the old Victorian style labeling and bottles, and it was the cutest store and it's become a favorite, so now every time I go to Charleston, whether it's for immigration, my sister lives down there, so I'll be having to visit her more often so we can go shopping. But I bought a couple things in there. The first, and I, as a lot of you know, I rose-scented things is my favorite scent. And I found this rose cologne called De Rosas. I'm in my bedroom and I'm on my vanity, so like the counter's not as high, but I thought the bottle was so cute and the label. And I think she, this isn't a homemade thing, but I think the lady <coughs> makes her own soaps and perfumes and things, so next time I go in there, I'm going to try getting some more things. She even sells antiques in there. She had a lot of antique vanity items. They, she had like the wool powder puffs. They were like $30 and kind of expensive, but I thought they were so neat and they were gigantic. So I would think I might get one next time I go. Um, this one's one of her homemade soaps. It's called Good Scents in the Rose Water. And her little label is so cute. And it's little pink um, soap, and it smells just like roses. And then again, I love incense too, so I got a rose water incense stick. And that's all I got in that store. That was, I think, maybe twenty dollars altogether or less. She had so many nice things. I could have been in there all day, but the store was so small, and I started getting. It was hot that day. I started to not feel well after being cooped in this little store. Um, so today, I have some antiques and things I bought too, but I don't, I didn't place everything where I could reach them right now, so I'm going to have to do more videos. Um, today we went to Forever 21 and Rue 21 and TJ Maxx. And at Forever 21, I don't know if it was me today. I just was in a strange room. I didn't really find anything that to like. And I don't know. Maybe it was just I was in a spending mood, which was weird for me. Normally, I'm 
I'll spend my whole bank account in one day when I go to TJ Maxx or whatever. But I got this in their little sales bucket, this cute little makeup bag. It was only two ninety nine. And I've been wanting a bag for my makeup brushes because I'm starting to run out of room in my little stand or container. So I thought I'll put all my, my blush brushes and my powder brushes in here. And I love the pretty roses. Um, and my husband got me for our anniversary present this cute little cardigan. And it's a little, it's got little, it's green with little bows on it. It's so cute. And I think it'll be really cute with my high-waisted Freddy jeans. I have a few pairs of those, and they always look cute with little sweaters and things. And I thought I bought something else in there, but I guess not. <laughs> that shows that I wasn't in a buying mood, that I'm looking in the bag for more, and there isn't anything. So then we went to Forever 21, and I needed some work things to wear for work, and for some reason I could not find any cute black pants, so I just got two tops. I got this cute little, I have a really cute skirt that this top go with. I don't know if you can see very well. <laughs> I love this little top. It was only six dollars. They had a full six dollar rack and I tried to find things that I liked and I didn't really find a whole lot, but I did find these two. And I got this cute little black and white striped sweater. And that was only six dollars. So that was from Rue Twenty One. They always ha they have amazing shoes in there. I had to like force myself not to buy shoes. I was like, okay, you're only in here for work clothes. Stay away from the shoes and things like makeup and stuff. <laughs> I wanted makeup, but they didn't. I just decided, okay, just stick to the plan. It was very difficult. <laughs> and then, we after that, we went to TJ Maxx, because I intended on getting some more Makeup by the bomb, and they were out of all of it. I think they're going to quit selling it there because when I had gotten the stuff I got last time, there was very little um, things by the bomb, and the and the blushes I wanted were all crumbled up because somebody decided to destroy them and leave them there. So I just bought a couple little things. I ran out of. My husband brought me some English tea from England when he first got here and I already ran out because I'm a, I love hot tea and I usually drink it in the morning with before work and then I'll, when I'm watching my English soaps I have my cup of tea or a piece of cake or whatever and I'm, or if I'm not watching my English soaps I'm turn her classic movies are on and it's just me, my cake and my tea and so I got this little this box of um, 50 tea bags and it's by Bruhaha and I just love the box. It is so cute and it says make a cup of tea all day tea. And I'm about to make some when I'm done with this video because it's that time of the night. <laughs> and then I got some more rose scented things. I bought a bar of soap. It says pure rose soap, and look how cute that packaging is. It's like a champagne pink wrapper, and this cute little rose and bow. It was so cute, and this was only $4.99. The box of tea, I think it was like $3.99. I always go in their little section of international foods, or they got the olives and Italian pasta and all. And then I got this, I don't know if it's Coswell Maisie or Macy Classics in the rose scent. It's the signature scent. And 
it was $9.99. <laughs> and it smells just like roses from outside. Like, and this is the cute little bottle with the roses on the front. I don't know if we can see that very well. My camera, the way it's set up, I can't really see myself. <laughs> apart from in the mirror, so it's hard for me to show. And then, that was all I got from TJ Maxx. It was crazy, like, I, I don't know if I was just not in a really shopping mood because the weather was bad. My hair, I was planning on getting all dolled up for our dinner and everything, but we had tornado type weather today and it's real muggy outside now and my hair just started frizzing by the time we got home from shopping, so I decided I'll just keep my makeup on and just go out to dinner, forget it, and I'll probably set my hair tonight for tomorrow at work. But a few weeks ago, it was probably like two weeks ago, we went. I went to Claire's. I always love finding little things in Claire's. I love their little hair bows, or hair flowers. And I got this cute little pink one. It's got little bits of green on some of it. And I like the way they, they've made it look like when the rose starts to wilt a little bit. And when my husband first saw it, he's like, they're all bent up and wilt. It looks funny. And I was like, it's, it's supposed to look like a real rose. I don't know, sometimes I didn't get it. I think he just didn't want me to buy any more hair crap. And then I got, I think I got two sets of these little roses so that I could switch out the colors. And I got the two little teeny rose, white rose buds. These are so cute. Sometimes I'll go in Claire's and their flowers are all kind of silly looking and then other days I go in there and they're just these beautiful flowers that they have. I think they just go in stages where they have some nice ones. And then I got this real pretty glittery blue one. And that will match my cute little top I bought today. And I bought this little lip gloss. I forgot I bought this. And look how I have it. <laughs> See, I've been so busy, I haven't even opened half of the stuff I bought, which is not like me at all. It's a little lip gloss, and it's got the cute little leopard print applicator. It is so cute. This was $5.50. I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> I'm bad. I got it. Sometimes I think I just compulsively buy stuff. And then I got these cute little makeup brushes that I also forgot I bought because I haven't was working all. I just haven't had time to do anything. My room is a mess. I have tons of stuff to put in storage. But I got these cute little makeup brushes. And all I could think of when I saw them, because they're so glittery and pretty, were 1930s or, like, I could picture Mae West with really pretty makeup brushes. And that seems to be it. That's about all I've gotten so far. Apart from my antiques where I'm going to have to do a separate video. Because I just... <laughs> I just buy so many things for, for the house and everything when my husband and I get our place. That I forget where I put stuff, or they're just sitting in bags, or I put them, I pack them up in the boxes, and then I take them to my storage. 
so I'm just going to have to do a video on my antiques that I bought. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the little 1950s planners, like the little donkeys and poodles. I collect lipstick holders, and when I get my, I'm gonna bu I want to buy like a curio cabinet to sit next to my vanity that's going to have all my lipstick holders in it. <laughs> because I'm starting to run out of room on my vanity and I've already filled up all my lipstick holders with all my lipsticks. So now I've just won one on eBay that I'm going to have to... It's a pink poodle, the spaghetti poodle, and I can't wait to get it. Oh yeah, and I forgot. I had gone to pay less to get some cheap little shoes to wear for work, something that's comfortable because lately even my baby all flats or my ballerina flats are so flat that standing up all day because I do retail my feet just are hurting after by the time closing comes my feet are hurting and I'm like okay I'm just going to buy something somewhat cheap but cushiony so I can survive at work for a while and who would have thought that they sold makeup I went in there and I was shot that Payless sold makeup, but I couldn't resist <laughs> not buying, which I bought this, it's a lip stain, little lip stain, and I, again, I have not opened it. It's lip stain and it's called Pink Lace. I'm going to have to try that. Right now I have on just a plain lip gloss from Sally's in the Silly Coney Island, which is this one. And I also got this, it's called, I guess the company's called Brash. And this one's a dual vision eyeshadow. And this is the cute little packaging. It looks like a little book. <laughs> It's like a dark green and the dark gray, and they're glittery colors. And those are the only ones I really liked out of what they had. They have nail polish in them, but I'm so picky with my nail polish, especially because I love China, China clays, that I decided not to bother with their polish. But the eyeshadow looks really pretty. And I'm dying to try this lip stain. So that's all I've gotten for now, I think. I'm pretty sure I have more stuff that I've bought. And I'm probably going to find it. And then I'm going to <laughs> do a video on it. So I hope everyone has had a good Mother's Day for all you moms out there. I had to work yesterday, but I still had a good one. Um, and I will try to keep up all my videos now. I'm, I keep saying that, but I really do want to do some more videos, especially a hair tutorial. I keep wanting to do it, but I'm never getting a chance to sit in front of the camera and play around. I haven't even vlogged very much. Um, I had a wedding to go to last weekend and it's just been a real crazy couple of months so hopefully I'll be able to keep up on things now if not <laughs> it's going to be random I hope not so um, enjoy looking at my other videos and please subscribe to my video channel if you like my videos um, and subscribe to my blog if you enjoy more beauty and vanity things like that and I'm kind of rambling now. <laughs> so have a good night everybody. Bye.